flat as what he was uh, presenting. Uh, but for me, I think he missed a wonderful opportunity to address the issues that are affecting this economy. What are those issues? The first issue is high inflation. Uh, inflation right now is now around 400%. This was an excellent opportunity of, for the minister to address the issue uh, of uh, high inflation. Uh, this was an opportunity to address the issue of printing of money, creating money. He himself said uh, that uh, broad money, which is the money in circulation, grew by 245% uh, between May of 2021 and May of 2022, meaning that there is an oversupply of money in the economy. And when you have an oversupply of money in the economy, it means you have too much money chasing too few goods, and therefore the price of goods uh, go up. He missed an opportunity to address the issue of uh, low wages, wages that are uh, hit uh, by uh, in, in inflation. So it was a, a sad uh, spectacle in that he didn't address the key issues that are affecting uh, uh, this economy. He also disrespected the uh, uh, you know, parliament. The supplementary budget is now 1.3 trillion, meaning that we are now back to 2008-2007. But the sad thing is that the supplementary budget is twice bigger than the original budget that we passed in December uh, of, 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 of last year. So when you have a supplementary budget now bigger than the, uh, than the original budget, it means there is incompetence, it means there is an overzealous fiscal policy, an expansionary fiscal policy. It means people are just spending money as if money grows on trees. It also means that inflation is no longer uh, under, 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 under control. So I think it's a, it's a sad day. It's a damp squib. It wasn't worth, worth uh, the sitting uh, for, for, for one hour. Uh, which is why he then tried to unprocedurally speak on the budget strategy paper because he knew what he said uh, he had no impact. On the revenue measures, he missed an opportunity of actually attending to tax reforms so as to benefit uh, uh, companies and the people of uh, Zimbabwe. I think that uh, increasing the tax-free threshold to 600,000 uh, uh, when... Uh, the exchange rate is now 1,200 is, 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 is pointless. So the tax-free threshold should have been 1,000 US dollars or the equivalent uh, of that. I think you should have lowered the intermediated money transfer tax for people to pay intermediated money transfer tax of 4% on the US, 2% on the local currency. That's too much. I think you missed an opportunity of reducing a VAT. Uh, you should have reduced VAT so that people can have uh, disposable incomes. So it's a sad spectacle, delivered without energy, delivered without uh, oomph, uh, and it's, it's a sad indeed.